Hi there. This is my third try at this video. I'm having a lot of trouble with my hardware. It keeps telling me I've run out of space no matter how much I clean out my storage. So if this doesn't work, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Anyway, welcome to Yoga for Beginners, Big Bellies and Bad Backs. I am someone who was a beginner a while ago, and I still have a big belly, but I no longer have a bad back because of doing yoga with wisdom related to my bad back. So I'm here to share what I know with you, and if you want to come along for the ride and improve your quality of life by getting more mobility and youth back in your body, I'm here to empower you. My name's Allison Moore, and let's get going. Today we're working on getting up and down off the floor. Usually in yoga class, they'll have you stand at the front of their mat, which means the very top, but the camera only shows the back of the mat in this video, so that's where I'll be working. We're gonna start with grounding down through our feet, or if you're sitting, grounding down through your sit bones on your chair, and we're gonna inhale and exhale, welcoming in relaxation and ease, and letting go of all the stresses and tensions we have in this moment, while we're on the mat, all we've got to do is the mat. Do what you can, love yourself, don't push yourself. And here we go, hands down at our side. Inhale, letting the breath lead the movement. Exhale, hands down to heart. Hands down to your side, inhale. Exhale, hands down to heart. Now we're going to do some forward folds. Remember to stick your butt out and lay your belly on your thighs to protect your low back. Work on using the muscles that draw these two body parts together, which also cues for these to let go. And listen to what you feel in your back. If you need to support your body weight on your thighs, if this is as far down as you can come, be there, using those muscles to draw your belly towards your thighs and using your arms to keep your back from having to work harder than it can. And just work, go to your edge and come out, go to your edge and come out. Even if I'm hanging out in a forward fold, talking, and you're back up here going, oh, it hurts, that's okay. Your learning edge is just as much yoga as my learning edge, no matter what my learning edge looks like. So. Love yourself. Let's do a forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold on your chair or on your feet. Let your head hang. Try to ease and release stress in your low back, in your neck, in your shoulders. Shake your head to help it let go. Push out all the breath you have, and on an inhale, we're going to stand up again keeping our belly on our thighs as long as we can, sitting down into it and raising our heads. Exhale all the you've got out. <sighs> Inhale and rise. Hands up high and hands down to heart. <sighs> Congratulate yourself, whatever your version of that looked like. You are doing yoga, you are caring for self, yourself and you're showing up. Let's do one more. Okay, hands down to the side. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, sticking your butt out and loving yourself. Lay your belly on your thighs. Let your head hang. Keep your belly on your thighs. And straighten your legs as much as is comfortable. And let your head hang. Shake it out. See if you can let it hang. Remember, some of us have anxiety stored in our neck and shoulders when our head gets lower than our hips. So come out of it if it's too intense for you. Go to your edge and then let yourself off the hook. Your edge will grow. You will grow if you just show up. Okay, on the inhale, and we're gonna let all the hair, air out and then on the inhale we'll stand up. All your air out. <sighs> inhale and rise, sitting down, lifting your head. And hands down to heart. Okay, now we're going to work on getting up and down off the floor. And this I lost when I was 48. It was very, very hard for me. 
I weighed a lot more. I was asking my son to get down and look under furniture when something had rolled underneath. Now I just get up and down myself because of yoga. So getting up and down, you can use a lot of supports and tools. You can use chairs. Um, you can use uh, chair backs to hold on to. But you want to try and do this a little every day. The more you do it, the more it will come back to you. The less ground you'll lose as your body ages. So um, I'm going to try using a chair first. This is actually a low stool. So you want to sit down. There's actually a pose called chair pose where you sit, you sit down and back and then you put your arms up like this. A lot of advanced yogis are kind of way up like this. Um, but for me, especially when I started, this was as high as I could get my hands. And I needed my hands out here to balance myself from falling over. So doing this pose will help you get up and down off of toilets, get up and down off of low seats. So that's called chair pose. And um, that's what I encourage you to practice to help you restore your ability to get up and down off the floor. So let's do uh, some chair poses. What you're going to do is um, inhale your arms up as you sit down. So like this. You want to keep your knees tracking over your feet. You want your knee tracking right over your foot. Dang it. My foot is straight ahead, my knee is straight ahead. My feet are straight ahead, lining up the toes. My knees want to be exactly over those middle toes. Hold that as long as you can. You can then either rise back up or go from here into forward fold. Stretch out the back of your legs and then come to a rising stand. So that's chair pose. I'm going to do a version of chair pose to get near the floor. Here we go. On to the stool. There. So that's me assuming that getting up and down off of a stool this low is hard for me. Practicing being able to do that. To get up, I can lean forward, give myself a push. <laughs> there, chair pose to help me get up. This is how you're regaining your ability to get up and down off of low things. From there, you can get onto the floor. That's one idea. One of my clients just gets up and down. So, typically in a yoga class, we go from forward fold into hands and knees. So you can, from your version of forward fold, get your hands on the floor whatever way you can. Put one knee down and then the other knee down and then you're on hands and knees. Put one knee up, maybe using chairs around you, another knee up and you're standing. And if you are practicing that at home with love and compassion, trying to get rid of the negative stories of, why can't I do this? I used to be able to do this. Let it all go. You are taking steps to get these movements back into your life. So let's do another forward fold and down onto hands and knees. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, sit. forward fold. When you're ready, plant your hands in some form or another. Get your knees on the floor. Come to hands and knees. You're on the floor. You did it. There's a lot we can do from here. When I teach yoga, when a lot of teachers teach yoga, 
we do a lot of standing poses first, and then we get you down on the floor, and you do a lot on the floor, and you end up resting. So it starts out hard, and it gets easier and easier and easier, typically, as you go until you're ending up resting. Okay, so another thing to remember is you want to balance your sides. So notice, if you're always getting up by putting this knee up first and then the other one, sometimes try the other leg first to help balance the muscles and strengths in your body. All right? So love yourself. We will finish today's class with one more gentle, loving forward fold. Arms up on the inhale. On the exhale, stick your butt out. Forward fold. Let your head hang from whatever position you are in. Breathe here, slow and deep and long. Now push everything out. And on the inhale, sitting down into it, lifting your head and rising. Bring your hands down to your heart. Telling yourself you are beautiful and amazing and you showed up for another practice. Namaste. These are hard for me to make. If you like what I'm teaching you and want to know more, please like my videos, send me an encouraging message, tell me you want more, suggest what you would like to be taught about, and I'll see you on the mat in another video. Bye-bye.